Hi, today I'm going to make tremosos. This is one of the most popular snacks seen in Portugal. It is just as conspicuous as peanuts in the United States at a ball game or popcorn at a movie theater. In Portugal, at all the festas, you'll see kids snacking on these, people at the bar drinking a beer snacking on these. What they are is they're lupini beans. That's the translation in the United States. It's basically a lupini bean that is rehydrated and brined in salt. That's the basics. Often towards the end, they'll add some garlic, maybe some other spices like some fresh cilantro, fresh parsley or chili peppers. This is a fairly long process because like olives that are nasty right off the tree, lupini beans are very bitter. So it takes six to maybe 12 to 15 days of soaking to get rid of that bitter taste. It's all just gonna be dependent on how long it takes for the bitterness to go away. I would always give yourself at least 12 days just to be on the safe side. I know in Madeira, just a beautiful island, and they have these little uh, like flumes, like these concrete flumes they call lavadas, that are throughout the island everywhere. And they direct water from the top of the island where they get significant amount of rain to everywhere else on the island. They're like over 600 years old. And they also go to everybody's little quintal, everybody's little uh, garden. And so it's also traditional where they'll throw this right in the little stream of water, like in a cheesecloth, and just let the water just bathe over the thermosuj until it's not bitter anymore. So first off, just so you know, the lupini beans should double in size, so make sure you have something that could hold lupini beans because you want the water to be over the lupini beans as they're soaking. Nutritionally, lupini beans are pretty good for you. They're high in protein, about 40% protein. So I have water in each bowl. You can see there's plenty of uh, water to cover them, so I think this will be a good amount. So I'm going to let this soak anywhere from 16 to 24 hours, then I'm going to boil them tomorrow. All right, this is the second day. Our tramosuj soaked for 24 hours in plain water. So I'm just going to bring this to a boil, turn it off, let it cool down to where I at least can handle it. Then I'll rinse it one more time. I tasted the water that these were cooking in and it was disgusting. It's not acidic, it is just gross. So basically that's what we're getting out of here. Now for the next five to eight days, we're going to fill these up with water and drain them at least twice a day, up to four times a day in order to draw out some of the bitterness. All right, it's Saturday afternoon. I started this process last Sunday evening. That was the first day I soaked the dry lupini beans, tromosuj, in water overnight. Then the Monday I boiled them. Then Tuesday on, they've been soaking in water. So I've been doing that since Monday. After trying them today, I could eat it. I don't spit it out, but I could tell it's just not there yet. It needs a little more. And to eat these little suckers, all you do is the shell or skin on the outside you could eat, but it's just, it's kind of tough. But anyway, you just bite into it, and as you squeeze it, it just pops right out. And when I was a kid, if one of your cousins was annoying you, you do that to them. That was always a lot of fun at the family get-togethers. So I'm still gonna go a few more days, and I'll check back with you. Okay, it's been 10 days since I started this process. I've been soaking the beans in plain water. The lupini beans are no longer bitter. I feel all the alkaloids have been leached out of there. This process will vary. You know, it'll depend on how many alkaloids are in the lupini bean. It depends on the ratio you have of water to lupini beans. So if you have a lot more water, like here, this is just about a quart of water to about a pound of lupini beans. If I had a gallon of water to a pound of lupini beans, that leaching process would be faster. Also, if you change the water more often, that process will occur faster. So next, I'm gonna drain this water. Then for the next three days, I'm gonna put my lupini beans in a salt brine. And I change the water once a day. I do this because obviously you need to salt your lupini beans. I like to give it time for that salt to penetrate into the bean. Also, I feel the salt helps draw out even a little more bitterness, so it even becomes more buttery towards the end. So that extra three days of brining improves not only the seasoning, it also draws out a little more bitterness that you didn't even realize was there. Okay, I drained the fresh water off of my lupini beans. Now, again, for the next three days, I'm gonna create a brine solution. This is four cups of water or one quart almost the same as a liter. I use one tablespoon per quart of water. That gives you about a 
2% brine solution. It's about 18 grams per liter. So you could do one tablespoon per quart of water or a quarter cup per gallon of water. I like to make sure that salt is well dissolved in there. For the next three days, this will sit in the brine solution, but once a day, I will drain these and make a new brine solution because it even extracts out more bitterness. And these thermosis are really tasty after three days. So thermosis are great to have alongside with a beer. If you drink too much beer, check out my Portuguese hangover sandwich. It is a sandwich from the Porto region of Portugal, and, and it is a gut buster, delicious. If you're a little hungover, this is what you want. Okay, now I'm going to drain the brine from the thermosus. We're just about done. We're on the 13th day. The thermosus have been in a brine solution for the last three days. Again, I change that brine solution each day, so it's a fresh brine solution. So now I just fill up my jars. and I make a fresh brine solution. And I like one tablespoon per quart of water. These thermosus by themselves, just brined in salt, taste fantastic. I'm probably gonna end up with about eight jars of thermosus. So I like to season them different ways. You know, some of them I'll put bay leaf. You could put, this one I'm gonna put uh, garlic. This one I'm gonna put garlic. And I crushed up some piti piti or piri piri peppers. That's pretty traditional in Portugal. So these will be pretty spicy. And now just fill up your jars. That's it, we're done, pretty simple. Get creative with a little different seasoning if you like. You could keep your thermos in the refrigerator I think for up to a month. I know I've tried it that much, it seems to be okay. I'm not sure how far you can go beyond a month. Don't be a slave to the schedule. Just change the water when you can and don't rush it either. You know, make sure you get all that bitterness out of the pinis. But thanks for joining me. Now go cook with someone you love.